Hi, it's Patrick with E38. In this video, I'll demonstrate using the Aerial Ground Fusion function in Lixel CyberColor. This feature combines your drone images with your Xgrid scan for improved Gaussian splatting. Both your Xgrid scanner and your drone need to collect an RTK for this purpose. Scanning with the Xgrid scanner will be done normally. Make sure the LCC plus point cloud option is selected for your camera settings in the Elixir Go app before scanning. Now that we've finished our scan, let's fly the aerial portion. For the aerial imagery, we'll perform a normal mapping mission over our subject, and at minimum three to four series of images from the ground up to the mapping elevation, with the camera focused on the subject you're trying to capture. For those image towers, I'm just going to take photos at one second intervals as I steadily elevate the drone. The last thing to do for collection will be the nadir mapping. Now that we've collected what we need, let's prepare our folder for LCC. First I'll make a new folder, then I'll create two more folders to organize the data I collected for LCC processing, one labeled drone and the other Elixir. The project folder from the K1 will be placed in the Elixir folder, and then I'll copy over all the images collected from the drone and place them in the drone folder. Then I can copy over these four files provided by Xgrids, launch the Extract Preview Poses application to finish the file prep. We can open the included visualization tool to confirm we have all the correct camera poses. We can now launch LCC and input our data and parameters for the aerial ground map fusion.
Click to start processing, and when it's finished, we'll have our Gaussian splat with ground and aerial imagery. This has been Patrick with E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.